Hello and welcome to another DocuWare how-to video presented by Mike and Technologies, a DocuWare Platinum partner based in St. Louis, Missouri. Today, we're going to take a look at building a file cabinet within the web client of DocuWare version 6.12. So starting with DocuWare 6.8, we have the ability to create file cabinets from within the web client's configurations page. Um, it's often been assumed that you have created the users, functional profiles, and roles before you create a new file cabinet. With the current version of DocuWare, it is often better to create the new file cabinet first and then create the file cabinet profiles before anything else. Since the old DocuWare administration app is being greatly reduced or removed completely uh, within the next version of DocuWare, we'll show you how to do as much as possible within the web client configuration. So let's start by logging into our DocuWare web client. We need to use the admin or a user who has the rights to create file cabinets. Not all accounts are granted the rights to create file cabinets. Usually only users with admin privileges are granted um, those rights. So to begin, let's go ahead and go to our configurations page. If you have if you have administrator rights, you will see the file cabinets icon. If not, you will not see the file cabinets icon. Since you have admin rights, click on the file cabinets icon. Here, you will see all the file cabinets available to the user who is logged in. Most of these file cabinets were created using the old DocuWare administration app, but they will appear in this listing as they can be edited from this configuration. To start a new file cabinet, click on New File Cabinet. Enter a file cabinet name. Enter a description as needed. Select the color for the file cabinet. For this sample, I'll use green. Click More Options. My database connection is going to be on Content, then click Next. Now we'll get to the database fields. Here you can select the database fields that you want to use. At the top of this list is Select All. Please uncheck it. Scroll down and put a check mark in the Document Number checkbox. Click Next. The Permissions tab opens. Only the person who created the file cabinet is shown, and with all rights. You can click on the plus sign to add additional users. We're not going to add anyone just yet, so hit Finish. Alright, so our new file cabinet's been created. If you hover over it, you'll see other options here to the right. We can change database fields, change dialogs, change permissions, delete the file cabinet completely, or export the file cabinet. We want to make several changes, so click on the file cabinet. So one thing we'll want to do with this file cabinet is turn on version management. Click yes, and then click on automatically create new versions. Right, this is going to create a new version of a document every time a document's been edited. We have more options here towards the bottom. Uh, for this example, I'm going to keep everything the same. Click on Save to change, save your changes. Now let's go over to Database Fields. We want to add some additional fields other than the predefined indexes provided. So let's go ahead and click on the plus sign. So we're going to add Customer Name as a text field with 50 characters. Then we'll click on the plus sign again to add additional fields. I'm going to add several, a uh, customer number, vendor name, vendor number, document type, and so on. Okay, so now I've added some more indexes. What I added was customer name, 
customer number, vendor name, vendor number, document type, and so on. For our date field, such as document date and store date, I made sure our type field here was set on date and not text like the rest of these. With all the indexes added, let's go ahead and click on save. Okay, so now that we have our indexes saved, we want to highlight the document number, this one at the top here, that was a predefined index, and we want to remove it by clicking on the minus sign. Yes, I want to delete all the data in this field. Now we'll hit save once again. Let's go down and find stored by right here. Click on it. So for our predefined entries, uh, by default we have none. We want to make sure that this is set to short name. Uh, so our store user short name, hit OK. Hit save again. Let's go over to our dialogs box here. Go down to search. We'll have our default search dialog. Let's go ahead and click on it to open it. If we do not want to see the document ID number, um, click on this eye over here. That's going to hide that for us. Now let's click on OK. Next we're going to go over to our store tab here. Click on default store dialog. Once again, we're going to find our document ID number here. Uh, let's go ahead and click on that dialog to open it. Use the pull down and select automatic numbering to put the next number in as a document number. We have read only checked. Let's click on the plus sign down here. We're going to add a new group. Call this one doc ID. Click on OK. Click on OK. Let's go to the result tab here. Let's open our default result list. You can see either the result list or the index dialog by selecting the correct tab here. Let's make any changes to the index order and visibility as needed. Now let's hit save again. Let's move on to our permissions tab. Click on the plus sign to add users or roles. Let's go ahead and add our accounting roles. Hit save. All right, so now that we have our file cabinet created, let's go ahead and close our configurations page. Let's log out of DocuWare and log back in. Okay, so let's uh, check our file cabinet here. We can do this by going to our settings tab. Let's go to the document trays. If we look under store dialogs here, you'll see here's our new file cabinet there, accounting demo. Let's go over to searches. Here's our file cabinet, accounting demo, and accounting demo right there. And that, is how you and that is how you create a file cabinet within Docuware 6.12 using the web client. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Our number and email is listed in the description below this video.